Hello everyone, this is Ted with OAX Ray, and today we are talking about one of our new supported sites, Overstock.com. I love Overstock, they have some great deals. A couple things I want you to watch out for, so I'm going to tell you on this video. So um, to show you the first thing, I want to go to housewares and then vacuums and floors. This is different from a lot of sites, this is why I want to point this out, and that is they have refurbished items. So be very careful when you're using OA X-Ray. OA X-Ray doesn't know the difference between, you know, if an item says it's refurbished versus new. So you got to read the title and make sure that the item is new and not refurbished because you might get some positives on here. Um, let's just figure out where we're going to go. Let's go to health and beauty and see if we find anything there. Uh, looks like a ton of results. Okay. So I'm going to go to shaving and grooming. Maybe that will kind of cut things down a lot. I'm going to scroll down. With Overstock, it looks like they have continuous kind of scrolling on their pages. So just scroll down to the bottom, and what that's going to do is that's going to populate everything. I like to use my just page down, and if you click it a few times, it will go all the way down. Wherever you stop, that's where OAX Ray is going to stop because we look at the current page that you're on so there we go we have all the information there now I'm going to click on the OAX ray extension and see if anything profitable comes up so I gave it about 30 seconds to load there there's 500 items on this page so this is probably going to take a couple minutes but I'm going to click on the positive ROI button and see what we have already populated um, this first item is what we're going to look at today. I'm choosing it because it's a high sales rank and there's not much profit involved. My goal is not to show you uh, Bolo, but just to show you how to vet items. First thing we have to do is make sure the items match exactly. So here we are, and it looks like shave, almond, cream. There's three parts to this. Shave, balm. Okay, looks like there are six left in stock. So if this was a profitable item, we'd want to make sure we either purchase out the stock let's see looks like we, it's 29.99 here and it is just about forty dollars here on Amazon now we have one review so it really doesn't tell us too much if we had multiple reviews and they were consistently positive or consistently negative we could make a decision but since we have one it's kinda of hard to tell but at least from that one we know that at least a couple have sold at least one has sold as we scroll down, we're looking for a few things. We're looking for the product and the weight and the dimensions. So this item is eight ounces, looks like it's really light, and 10 by six by one inch, so it's really small. You can fit a lot of these in a box. These are the things that you wanna think about whenever you're doing online arbitrage. If you're getting huge items, you're only gonna be able to fit one or two in the box, which brings up your buy cost or your inbound shipping cost and fees a lot. We are also going to check out reviews. We already went over the one review that it has. Really doesn't tell you much. It's hard to tell from that one. But what we're going to do is copy the ASIN, and then we're going to go over to the FBA Amazon Revenue Calculator. So we're over to the Amazon FBA Revenue Calculator. We're going to paste in our ASIN, and there's our item. Looks like it's about the same size. Maybe changed a little bit, not too much. The dimensions can change, and the weight can change from the first page to this page so that's why we have to be careful the item is selling since we're the if we go back here it looks like we're the only FBA seller let's see I can click on new and I can see now from looking at this there's no other FBA seller so I might be able to get a premium price I'm gonna list this item at $49.99 see what happens and my inbound shipping costs are going to be about, let's say, $1.50. I'm going to include inbound shipping costs because this is really small, really lightweight, not going to cost a lot to ship in. I'm also going to add in any prep service fees, which for me are about a buck. And that's where I get my $1.50 from. Now here for prep service fees, instead of putting in prep service fees, I'm going to put in my buy costs just so I can get kind of an accent and estimate on what I will make after I pay for everything. So if I sell this for $49.99, um, I'm going to make $8.30, and 
that's accounting for all my buy costs and everything. Now, if I want to match the lowest cost, I could go here and I'll probably break even at 40. But you got to remember, you can sometimes demand a premium for FBA, especially if it's a fast selling item and there are no FBA competitors. So as we go back to the Amazon page, I kind of want to go over what we've gone over so far. Uh, you want to check your reviews. This is going to help you determine if you're going to get a lot of returns and possible negative feedbacks. Check your product dimensions and shipping weight so you can tell how expensive this item is going to be to ship. And make sure you always check out the FBA revenue calculator um, before you make any purchases because sometimes this information is slightly different, which can cause an item to be oversized. Thank you very much and make some money. Have a great day.